It's trying to get situated. What's good? Happy New Year, even though I'm two weeks late uploading. But uh, yeah, happy 2021. I'm a little late getting to the party, but you know, better late than never. The 2021 home studio tour. I figured this would be a decent way to start the year off and I made a few changes since last year. So the 2021 home studio tour. I guess we'll start over here again on the, on the, on, in the entrance. And the first thing you will see when you walk in is we already have some acoustic foam on the wall. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this camera over and give you guys a full panoramic view. So we'll start with the, I guess we'll start with the panels on, on the roof. So these acoustic panels, now I had these up here last year when I did this video, but I built these panels that you see on the roof and you see on the wall over there by myself. It's actually really simple. I made a video on how to build them, so I'll leave that video down below if you guys would like to check it out. Over here we have my neon sign, my inspiration right here. Don't quit your daydream. Then I also put some wallpaper on my wall because that wall has terrible, it's just been painted so many times and there's nails in it and stuff. So I just covered it with some wallpaper and now it looks great. We have some little pieces of acoustic foam up there as well as over here. I got myself some bass traps in the corner. We have another neon light. You guys will notice I have a window over there in the corner. That window used to be a booth. I turned that booth into my bedroom. If you go watch my 2020 studio tour, you'll see what this used to be, but now it's a bedroom. But I still have a screen in here and I still have a keyboard. So when I'm like actually going full force, this screaming, I'll record in here. Just for, I don't scare my neighbors. <laughs> we have some inspiration on the wall. We have our blue microphone. A dresser. We have our old studio monitors that we're not using anymore. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the, the fun part, the main parts. Now I actually have a review dropping on these monitors. I just got these monitors not even a week ago. So I got a review dropping on that soon. Beautiful monitors. We have our wide inch curved 30 inch screen or 32 inch screen i forget how wide it is then we have our other monitor up there so i have the dual monitors it's great for mixing doing videos and stuff then we have our tv this desk i got from a place called Tepperman's. It's just a flat desk, nothing too special. Now I have my monitor set up on this little, I don't know, piece of wood. <laughs> I bought this off of Amazon, but I got this power conditioner instead of using a power outlet like this. We don't want to use these. We want to we want to use this. You can't really see it. I'll give you guys a better B-roll shot. But I bought the power outlet and I didn't really have much space on my desk. So I bought that little thing for my monitor to go on top and the power conditioner can go underneath. We have our filming light up here. We have our SM7B, our uh, beautiful SM7B. I love this microphone, awesome microphone. which is plugged into our Apollo Twin. Awesome interface. 
And then we have my favorite possession of all, something I've been wanting and I finally got. This has been a while in the making, but I finally purchased it last year, the Neumann U87. Couldn't be more happier with it. Lovely microphone. Then we have our Stedman pop filter, pretty cool pop filter. You can just wash it off after you use it. And then we have this pop filter, which I like as well. It's like a dual screen pop filter with a gap in the middle for the air can escape. Two sets of Audio Technica headphones because I got rid of my booth. So if I have someone else recording, I can monitor through those headphones. They can listen to the other ones. Then we have our isolation shield for the microphone because I'm not using the booth anymore. So this is our new booth now. And that's pretty much it guys. There's not too much to the studio. It's a tiny room. I don't got too much to tour. It's been a slow process. I've been building the studio for about eight years now. So none of this stuff was just bought at once. I slowly, I bought a microphone, then I bought a pair of speakers, and I bought this and I bought that. It's a slow process, but I pretty much got everything I wanted. I want to get a new computer. I'm using an HP MV desktop, a new computer, and a new camera because I've had this camera since 2013, and it's not the best camera. I would prefer a better one. Besides my computer and camera which are not really a need it's more of a want i pretty much got everything i could want in a home studio so i'm happy with it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys soon with another video i think i'm going to review these monitors next i guess we'll find out so hit that subscribe button if you guys are not subscribed give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below and i'll see you guys soon with another video peace out